Let's start. You should say I'm on my side too. Yeah, yo, you live, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you live. Everybody, yeah, you know, everybody can see you, man. Let's say what you know. Say what's up to the people. Let's see who's coming in. Let's see who's in here right now. Let's say what you know. Say what's up to the oh, people. Oh yeah, I forgot. We gotta mute this real quick. Boy, technology of food. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send you the link so that way you could jump in and you can see people, um, you know, texting and stuff. Shit, I'm on my phone. Oh yeah, yeah. If you on your phone, let's. See, I, I could just read out the questions. Let's see what people, you know, talking about. Yeah, because they probably jumped on the wrong one. Because I had another one set up all week for people to, to come in. So now they're probably looking at the other one. Yeah, so we'll give it a couple minutes, you know, let people come in. But, yo, man, it's, it's crazy to think that you're opening up your skills camp, man. Yeah, yo, no, I, I don't. can't believe it, bro. Still can't believe it. I always knew I was going to do something with kids. So once I, I had that opportunity being home, being able to have that access to, you know, the facilities, fields when I need them, and then, you know, just the kids, let alone, um, you know, there's tons of kids in the world. So being here where I am, being in Texas, you know, football is pretty big. And that's what kind of got me going with the whole, the whole Shep Up movement was the football aspect of it. And that's when I kind of, realize how football is essentially the same basic fundamental movements of every sport. And so that's what led to me doing the speed and agility camps. I mean, yo, it's about time you started doing I was wondering when you was going to jump on it. Yeah. You know, it was hard kind of just for me finding that balance of how to go about the training, finding clientele, you know, getting that relationship with them where, they getting consistent work and I'm not here one minute and then I'm gone because I'm playing and then I'm here and then I'm gone. And, you know, it was really hard for me. Like right now is, is where I'm, I'm going extra mile as far as pushing Shep up more yeah. than I had been because, you know, I was still training hard trying to get that opportunity back in the league, you know, but at the same time, I got a daughter now. So, Exactly. You know, having a daughter, you know, my whole world changed. So it's not just about me, what I want to do, chasing my dream, whether or not that dream, that, uh, dream is reachable or not or attainable. For whatever reason, I haven't gotten that opportunity and uh, just got back to where I wanted to get. So it kind of made me have to make some big boy decisions, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always big boy decisions. <laughs> That's that. That be the thing too big for getting like shit. I ain't that old. Yeah, I'm like, you know, you gotta you know make them big boy decisions, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nobody yeah. likes making them decisions. I don't like making them decisions. It's cool though, man. You like, Yo, cool. what's up, Louis V? Noah, what's up? What's going on? Yo, this so guys, this is my man Jacory. Yo, pro football player, one of the coolest dudes you ever meet in your life. You know, he's stepping into the entrepreneur realm. You know, he's getting things going. Just, you know, he's one of the, just just a cool dude, guys. Like, so you guys can ask him whatever questions you want. You know, it, it is what it is, man. You know, I brought him on here so that way he can kind of talk to you guys about, you know, what it takes to be a pro football player. Like, how do you juggle, you know, being a pro and entrepreneurship and just life in, in general? You know, because his struggles are way different than our struggles. You know, you guys see us as, you know, drop shippers, as entrepreneurs and all that stuff. But at our level, it's way different. You know, he's on a, a scale that we can't even touch. You know, like we're not professional athletes. Like I'm a professional software engineer, but I'm not a professional athlete by any stretch. I mean, he's out there dunking on my, you know, my 11 year old kid. Right. So, you know, that's, that's completely different. But yo, man, you guys ready to learn? You can 
ask questions, I'll feed them back to them. You know, so Ja'Cory, tell them a little bit about yourself. Tell them where you come from, you know, football, like what it means to you, everything. You know, so just break it down for them a little bit. Got you, got you. So, yeah, I'm from the great state of Texas. Um, I like to tell people that I'm just from Texas in general because, you know, I, I grew up a little bit kind of spread out in Texas. Um, my parents being, being from the country, East Texas, so I definitely represent the 903 um, to my heart. Um, uh, born in Mount Pleasant, Texas, not too far from Pittsburgh, Texas, where my mom was was uh, raised, and then my pops raised in Dangerfield. So from there, I actually grew up in Houston with my mom. I grew up in Houston for most of my life, and then from Houston, I moved to Dallas, going to my sophomore year of high school, and that's where I finished in Mesquite, a Mesquite Horn, and eventually went from Horn to KU on a full ride um, football scholarship as a receiver. And I ended up going there, uh, going through the coaching changes and whatnot. Every year I was there, I had a different coach. <laughs> and <laughs> ended up, yeah. uh, unfortunately, having a, a position change towards the end of my sophomore year, which, I mean, it was cool. I had to do kind of what was best for the team. I've always been a, that team guy, so ended up making that switch, and it paid off. Uh, last two years, you know, the All Big 12, and, you know, got the opportunity to go to Senior Bowl, to come by. And yeah. do all that, and obviously the main thing was you know getting drafted. No matter where you were drafted, just having your name going across that screen and, and getting that call was amazing. So um, that led to you know my rookie year in in Philly, and started off started off good, man. Actually, real good. Um, I won that that nickel slot, and unfortunately had a freak accident where I tore my ACL a week before the first preseason game. And so I basically and then just went trying to find my way back in to this. Hey man, you, you know I'm always gonna root for you, bro. It don't matter whether you playing for Philly or playing for anywhere else. I'm always gonna be sitting there rooting for you. That's just you know the way life is. But you know, so they had a they had a few questions for you. You know, everybody you know want to know. Um, so they're you know they're looking um as far as like drop shipping. So. You know, you're not necessarily jumping into the street, into the realm of drop shipping. You know, you're jumping in an in entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and, you know, that's, you know, we're we're all like drop shippers. Right. You know, so we're all, you know, just wild, you know, making money online, doing all types of ridiculous stuff to, to make it happen. But, you know, like Noah and, you know, all the other guys, we're really, you know, just um you know, just, just here selling online. Like I, I know you were doing something with, um, with those training gloves for a little while, you know? Okay. And yeah. So you, you was doing that and then you started getting into, um, you know, and now into your skills camp. So guys, like he's not necessarily a drop shipper like we are, you know, like he, he's on a different level. Like, you know, he's kind of like what I do with, with the car shop, you know, having a physical brick and mortar, with him, you know, it's more or less, uh, you know, his skills camp, you know, training people. So, you know, Shep, tell him a little bit about that and like how that transition going from being just a pro football player to like a business owner, entrepreneur, like how how difficult was that, you know, for you to, to wrap your mind around? Because, you know, that's something that I couldn't imagine going from, you know, pro football and then trying to figure out how to run business and everything else, you know? Yeah, well... Um, honestly, it can, there's, there's two ways to go about it. Um, like you can have myself who I took advantage of the resources that I was given throughout the NFL. You know how we were talking earlier before we got on the show about me being able to, you know, do certain things that you may not be able to, or go certain places you're not able to go. So with me being drafted, being in the NFL, I had resources available to me that, 
going into the NFL, my rookie year, whatever it was that I wanted to do, if I already knew what I wanted to do, then boom, they set me up with basically a, a roadmap for me to be able to accomplish whatever it is that I want to do outside of football while I'm still playing. So I took advantage of that. You know, I graduated with my, with my uh, business degree. So I already have my business degree and knowing that I wanted to do something on the business side of things, knowing that I always want to have my own something. Like I wanted to work for myself. I've never had a, a job and <clears throat> until basically I got to the NFL. And essentially football became my job, but to me it still wasn't that. So in that process of going through what I went through as far as my league, my league years, I'm basically my own business. Once you get to the NFL level or the professional level or any sport, at that point, you are your own business. So how you carry yourself, yeah. things you say, things you do, that's the same thing as if, say, if I didn't have the football aspect on trying to start the chef up. Okay, I'm still have to pay attention to how I carry myself outside in, in my community because I'm trying to present my community with something that's for our kids, the kids of the community that I'm saying – hey, bring your kids here. I want to help them not just speed and agility um, side of it, but also, you know, character and helping build them, build their confidence or whatever it is that they want to do outside of sports because of, like I say, my journey that I was able to have. Yeah, so do you view it more as a job now or is it a passion or, you know, a little bit of both? Like, you know, how, how is that, you know, playing out? It's both. It's both. It's definitely, it's definitely more of a job than passion. But I mean, there are some guys who may argue that. But at the same time, for most, it's once you get to the NFL, it's it's still fun. But some people, the, the fun diminishes somewhat just because of the the pressure of the business side of things. But if you don't let that pressure get to you, if you're not one of those players that's sitting there wondering when the cut's coming, if I'm going to be one of those guys and you just playing like you play, then that won't be an issue. Like for me, that, that ain't an issue. Now, granted, I know I get cut. I've been going through that process or whatever the past uh, season or two, but at the same time, I know what I'm getting into. Like I knew what I was getting into when I said I wanted to do this when I was five years old. So that's, that's just how to take it. And you don't have a choice at this point, man. <laughs> you know, you you already deep in it. Yeah. You know, you already deep, which is is strange to think, man. Because you know, when we met, you were still you know just a football player, you know, and that was it. You know, just you were straight up football. You know, yeah, you know, good old Fletcher Cox, see ball, get ball. Yeah. You know? But you know, now you're you're stepping out, man. You got a family. You got a daughter. You know, I remember when. Oh man, like now you got. <laughs> The little girl, you got the family. Mm -hmm. It's no longer just, you know, Big Shep doing whatever he wants to do, about to go buy an R8. Yo, I'm, I'm probably going to get the R8 before you now, so. No, hey, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Watch. Oh. Watch. I'm going to surprise you, bro. Watch something. Y'all can, can check it now. I'm getting I'm getting my R8 if Dan lets me buy it because, you know, my, my business partner, he holds all the money. He doesn't let me buy anything. Yeah, no, see, you got to worry about that decision from others. I don't. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna to see, we're gonna see yeah. how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting there rolling the art. You guys watch. Yeah, you guys take note, man. Take note. You know, Noah, man, it, networking, that's what it's about, man. Like, you know, just meeting Ja'Cory was just like a random occurrence. Um, you know, he's just, we ended up being friends, man. He just mad cool. Uh, yo, what's up, Jay? What's going on, man? You know, hey, Kevin, uh, so Kevin wants to know, uh, what does the NFL teach you as far as, like, how to manage your money and stuff like that? You know, did you guys get any teaching? Did they just say, yo, we're about to pay you all this money, go broke? No, 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 no. They definitely teach you how to manage your money. It's just like when you start a new job, how you have to go through orientation and all that. Once you, you start a new job, you a new hire, it's the exact same process with NFL. Like once you hire, they, they have orientation for us where – they explain us. They breaking down, you know, how to micromanage your money, how to set budgeting. If you if you have financial advisor or financial advisor, or if you don't have financial advisor, like legitimately anything that you need, 
is right there in the palms of your hands. All you got to do is ask. If you don't know, if you ask, and this is, like I say, once you're on the team, whether that's undrafted or drafted, yeah. if, if you ask, then most likely you'll get taken care of. Oh, see, like that's something that I would have never guessed. I thought they just gave you all that money and you figure, you know, figure it out for yourself. No, they take man, they 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 really take pride in that and in teaching us about how to make our money work for us. You know, how to make um how to make our money make money in the off season when we're not playing, when we're not having those checks coming in. So they definitely try to put you in a position to succeed. It's just, what do you do with it? The same thing with going to school. You in the same class as your classmates, but they heard something else and they decided to take what y'all learned and do this with it, but you did this. So it's the same thing. We all learn the same stuff as far as principles and that knowledge of how to manage your money, what to do with it, what not to do with it. But person next to me may not heard what I heard and may not do what I do, which is follow their plan. <laughs> yeah, you follow the plan better than everybody else. <laughs> I mean, you, you made it to a level that, you know, most of us are only going to ever dream about, you know, like, I mean, everybody dreams of being a pro athlete or doing, you know, doing some dunking a ball, you know, scoring a touchdown, getting an interception, but that's something that you actually got to live. And what a lot of people don't realize is that you were baller at basketball too. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> You know, so it wasn't like, you know, you're a one trick pony. And that's, you know, that's kind of what we talk to everybody about here. You know, just don't be a one trick pony because a lot of people will be like, oh, I'm just going to be a drop shipper. And that's it, which is cool. Like, you know, drop shipping makes us a lot of money. You know, I mean, that's how we got all the cars. That's how we got the house and rental properties and like how we put money in the bank to get into like purchasing our first 7-Eleven and all that. But if you're just a one trick pony that's it. Like there's nothing left for you. And, and that's one thing that, you know, I try to tell all the students, I'm like, guys, like you're making a lot of money drop shipping, which is cool. But what are you going to do with that? Like you have a skill set, but how are you going to add on to it? Because most people in this space, all they see is, oh, I'm, I'm making five, six, seven, you know, thousand dollars extra every month. I'm just going to keep doing this. But what happens when Amazon or eBay changes up? It's kind of like the NFL. Like when, when it changes up, guess what? You left, you went from the Eagles over to the 49ers and that's kind of what happens in our space. You know, eBay changed a bunch of rules and now everybody's jumping on Amazon and trying to go to Shopify and they may not know the rules of the game. They don't know the new system. You know, they don't know the new coach, so to speak. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's something that that's difficult for people to understand because they're like, y'all just want to do this and that's it. And I'm like, well, sometimes you can't just do this and that's it. Yeah, it'd it, it be what you just said. Um, when people be like, it's a mindset. Like, like you said, when you first when you first met me, yeah, everybody blowing your phone up. Nah, that's actually my daughter now. When you um, when you first met me, like you say, I was just all football, football, football. But eventually, like how things started to happen for me with my career, I had to start changing my mindset. And that's that's the biggest key is being able to change your mindset and see the bigger picture and not be stuck in that box or be afraid to get out of the box. And most of it is fear. I admit shit, that's what it was for me. And that's I still deal with that as far as like being more open and, and showing myself and letting people get to know me instead of waiting for people to basically ask questions or want to talk to me, like showing I am actually a person. I am, you know. Not just a football player. Well, I mean, now they know you're not just a football player, but let's see, Jay asked, so, so if you didn't make it to the NFL, man, what, what would have been your dream job or what would you wanted to do if you had never made it to the NFL? Man, it's crazy because I got a love for horses. And I know I know <laughs> I don't terrible know. About horses, bro. <laughs> and um I don't know, man. I feel like low key I probably would have did something with rodeo. Like Bronco riding or something, but um, if not that, like I said, I always you know I wanted to have my own business and my love for for giving back to the kids and talking to kids because I do have a lot of siblings. It would have tied something with that, so I feel like it would have tied something with that. <laughs> I wasn't really sure. I always knew I was linked to the league. <laughs> 
Bro, you'd have been chasing down, you know, bulls and stuff, man, riding around on horses. You know what I ride, bro? I like to ride. I got a few horses, so I ride whenever we got some good weather out here. I mean, the weather's, you know, better out there than it is here, that's for sure. It's uh, freezing. It's cold. Yeah. Right it ain't as cold probably out there, but it's it's 30. It's cold. Oof. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I give it to you. I give it to you. People be thinking 50 and 60. No, nah, bro, get in them 30s and, and 40s, sometimes 20. No, nah, forget all that mess, man. So let's see. You know, now if you could go back and do, let's say your your first year, let's say you, you didn't get hurt. Let's say like you could redo the NFL part, like from day one, what would you have done differently? Like, would you have started – you know, doing some entrepreneurship because I know you had some endorsements while you were here. You know, people were paying you to, you know, you got to drive the infinities around and stuff. He was all cool. So, like, what what would you have done different? I would have just took more advantage of my platform. Like I say, with the social media aspect of, like, I've never been a fan of social media. I never had no social media. I never, like, growing up from high school, college, I never had no social media. First thing closest to social media I had was Snapchat, and I just got that to just pass through time between classes or whatever yeah. the case would be. But that, like I say, that that was low key, kind of like a fear, or is a fear, I should say. Like I ain't never just been a fan of social media, so that's really it. If I can go back and do anything, it will be that being more open to using my social media platform which I'm trying to learn how to do now. So you'll see as I grow, anybody that's watching this and that do follow me on IG, it's going to be funny because in a few months, you'll be like, dang, he posting a lot more, but I'm really trying to work on getting out of my box. And like I said, it's not that I don't think nothing wrong with me. It's just that's just me. That's my personality. I'm laid back. I'm chill. I don't really care to be in the spotlight unless it's, until it's time to play. Like when it comes to sports, ball, and competition, that's when I like to be in the spotlight. That's when – you know, I do my talking, want to be in the crowd and like, take pictures and all that. But if it ain't got nothing to do with com- competition wise, then I'm I'm laid back. Low key like to be like ghosts. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much is that. I'm like, I could never understand like why in the world you were never really into social media. Let's see. Yo, um Louis, uh, so was there anybody who was taking you under their wing in the NFL? Was there like somebody that really just was like, yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you. I'm going to show you the ropes, and this is how it's going to work. I mean, I know Chip. Yo, Chip loved you when you was here. Like, Chip, yeah. yo, that game went to bat for you. Yeah, Chip was cool, man. You, um, Like you said, he went to bat for me, and that's how I ended up in San Fran as well. So he definitely cut for me. I definitely got mad respect for him. But you don't really have as tight of a connection or a bond with, with head coaches or coaches as much as you do with players. So for me, it was, and still to this day, Nolan, is that's my man right there, Nolan Carroll. I talk to him all the time, but because of my personality, I click with a lot of people. So if I say Nolan, I could say BG because I talk to him still. What? I, I, yeah, bro. Jink. I talk to Jink every once in a while. I check in on him. Um, Sproles. See, I'll give all a flip. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but uh, Sproles. Yeah, no, he was banging my baby moms. Me and him ain't never going to be friends. You stupid, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, me and him can't be friends. Yeah, well, who said it? Ain't, you know, ain't nobody wrote that rule down. It's a rule, man. You're like, we can't, you can't go bang my baby moms down and then think we're going to be cool. Hey, <laughs> like, how's that going to work, bro? Hey, man. <laughs> you, you can't go on the news and see my baby moms and play. So I like the way you be here. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, yo, no, I mean, we can, me and him ain't never gonna be friends. I mean, I, I want to get his autograph though, but me and him can't be friends. I Sorry, for good, huh? we can't be friends. You good, man? Yo, man. Oh, it's a cat right here. Um, you know, this dude, he saw me. He's like, yo, I'll drop ship them hoodies for you, you know, for free. Now, that's what we need to talk about, man. We need to talk about, you know, getting your merch out because, yo, you have such a, a big platform. Like, I don't know why you haven't been doing merch. I don't know why you haven't been really getting into e-commerce, bro. Like. No, I'm sales. No, I got something to do. I all burning. Thanks, no, I, I like. I literally just got got into this. I like, wrap my head around this whole concept of this is what you need to be doing. And a lot of this, like I say, it ain't like people ain't been telling me. 
it's just me personally. I just, I just not feel it. you know what I'm saying? It ain't me. So that's what's always been the hard thing for me. But like I say, living with my girl, that's what helped me, you know, get through a lot of this and put together a lot of the step up. So when it comes to my website, and, and tell her I, I said thank you, bro. Like, cause she finally getting you out of that shell, man. Yeah, man. That, that's really it. Like, for real. That's that's really what's helping me a lot getting out of that shell. So yeah, I mean, she yo, she she's nice. She is yo, she's a nice lady. She making sure that you do what you're supposed to do. Oh, Mister Mayor, who <laughs> smashed my baby mom? Fletcher Cox. That's who smashed my baby moms. Okay. Yeah. And there ain't no coming back from that. All right. I'm not Fletcher Cox. I ain't rich like that. All right. I got some money, but I ain't got Fletcher Cox money. All right. So y'all just I I ain't got $95 million. Oh. Yeah, I, I ain't got $95 million. I ain't even got an R8 yet, bro. So y'all need to chill with all that, man. Don't be running around YouTube telling people either. You know, putting all my business out there. But no, nah, man, like, yo, know, for real, like it. I couldn't believe that you were getting into what you were getting into. Like I, I kind of figured it was going to come, but I didn't think that it was going to come at this magnitude. Like I always figured I'm like, yo, he's probably going to do something when he gets back home. You know, he's, he's going to start getting the skills training. He's going to start doing camps. He's going to start doing all that. But bro, like that, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, it, it really did. Like I said, I always had the concepts in my head, like of knowing like, okay, I know I want to do this. I don't care. I know I want to train. I don't want to coach because I don't want to deal with the non-football stuff. But I still want to work with kids. I still want to, you know what I'm saying? So that's what kind of led me, led me to everything. And from then, it just came a point of finding what worked for me and what, what I was comfortable with. Yeah, oh, that'd be easy, man. What we need to do, we're going to get you a print-on-demand store set up, bro. We're going to get you a print-on-demand store set up so that way you can get all your merch out there. You know, be real easy. Come on, like now that you got all this stuff, we need to we need to get you out there making all this money. Yeah, you, know? you gotta put me on, bro. You gotta put me on game. Let me understand. It's, it's easy. This is this is all we do. So, like, you know, some of the people in here, uh, you know, I mean, we do a lot of e-commerce stuff. So, you know, most people don't they don't realize how much money is made just through e-commerce. You know, they look at us and they're like, Oh, you guys are selling stuff on Amazon, you're selling stuff on eBay. You know, or, or whatever. I'm like, bro, like we're doing thirty, forty thousand a month on on Amazon and eBay. Like, you know, <laughs> like come on, man. Like, yo, cut us some slack. You know, I'm like, I'm sending my students on vacations, bro. I'm like paying for them to, to go from New York to L.A. I'm like buying them iPads and MacBooks, and you know, just giving them cash money. So, and like, why in the world, you know, are you guys not, you know, not getting into that? But you know, different strokes for different folks. Um. Oh, so Louis wants to know. So, like, why? So, right now, yo, so, so, Kev, man, he's not really in the e-commerce just yet. Like, he, I mean, he has his merchandise, but he's doing a skills camp. So, it is his franchise. Like, he's he's franchising his own business. But I guess we could ask, like, how come you know, with the whole, uh, you know, the whole football thing, like, why didn't you get into, you know, like buying a Burger King or a Seven Eleven, like, you know, we're about to do, you know, like. Why did you not do that in instead of you know trying to get into this or real estate, you know, that type of stuff? So everybody's situation is different, everybody's mindset is different. And when I say that, I'm talking about your living situation, your situation growing up, the background you come from. So how you think what may be important to you may not be important to somebody else. And with yeah. that being said, so My bad. Yeah. Hey. My dog's back there. My bad. <laughs> but um back my bad, bro. Um so yeah, everybody's situation is different. And with that being said, that all what you do with your money or how people spend their money, how players spend their money, it depends on first of all, what type of money you got, when you got drafted, because the based off when you get drafted, one you get a signing bonus. Not everybody gets a signing bonus, and not everybody signing bonus is the same. So when you get your money, how you get your money is all different based off when you was picked up, round you was drafted, so on and so on. So with that being said, you're gonna take care of your family first. 
Oh, when course. I say that, I'm talking about you know your parents, yeah. grandparents, and then you are gonna take care of you. So you ain't really thinking about oh, let me go get this real estate because, like I say, it depends on what round you were drafted. So it all de- it all depends on the basically the, the amount of disposable income that you have. And until then, you you going off them checks, and them checks is not guaranteed. And you don't only get them checks yeah. if you plan. If you ain't plan, you're not getting them checks that your contract say. So that's the stuff that people got to take consideration when, you know, they do say, oh, why? Why did they do this? Or why did they do that? Granted, yeah, probably still um, could have gotten to it. But at the same time, man, it's just it's a lot on your plate and a lot to be think about. And the second you start to think about it, it's too late. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Of the job security. Like, when you get hired, you know, you, you good. You know you good. You ain't worried about oh tomorrow when I go in I may get cut. You know what I'm saying? You not yeah. you not worried about waking up, getting in a car, and you getting that call on your way to work that you've been going to for the past two years. Like you ain't that ain't something that you worry about. That's something that we got to deal with. So yeah. some things like that that are that on that big of a scale, you not thinking about it because at the end of the day that's a risk. You taking a risk. And so a lot of people are not willing to take that risk with that large amount of lump sum of money when they don't have that big of a boat on hand right now. They got to, it all depends on, oh, if you play this many plays or if you do this and do that and do that. There's so many what ifs, like what you have to do, what you got to accomplish to get that money. It's not just like how, like, you know what I'm saying? You work your hours, you're going to get that amount each hour. I may get paid this amount this week, but next week I get paid less or more. So it's just a lot. You got to take all that consideration. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that aspect of it. They don't know the business side of it. So like break that down a little bit because what we see, like, I mean, now I'm talking to you like, yeah, I know how the business side work, but these people don't know how the business side work. Like they just assume that you're going to get this contract and you getting paid and making 400 and something thousand as a rookie right off the bat, like, or getting a $2 million signing bonus. So, like, break down some of that, like, as far as where you get drafted, like, yeah. the first round, you know, y'all get big bonuses. The second round, maybe not as much. Like, you know, so break down a little bit of that so people can kind of understand what you guys have to go through and what you guys have to worry about. Yeah, I, um, well, like, I kind of just hit on that a little bit, but yeah. like you say, it all it all depends on where you get drafted. So where you get drafted is going to depend on if you got a signing bonus or Signing bonus or not. If you don't get drafted, you still get an undrafted free agent signing bonus, but it's only going to range from probably about five thousand to anywhere from five to probably like thirty. And signing bonus meaning that you get that right there. But again, taxes is taken out of everything that you that we get. So okay, you get that signing bonus money. You got to make the team. So now once you make the team. Are you active or are you on practice squad? If you're active, then you're getting your game day, you're getting your contract checks each week based on if you're active or unactive. If you're unactive, it's pretty much equal across the board. Some people have a little, you know, a few things they may have in their contracts where they get a little bit more, but every check you get, you're only getting paid in the season. So in the off season, we ain't getting paid unless it's in the contract. Or something like that. Otherwise, you're not getting paid in the offseason, only player performance, and that's just based off if you play the amount of snaps, so on and so on. So you pay somebody who's only getting paid 16 weeks out of the whole year, regardless of how much it is, they paying taxes where they stay, as in the team they play for. Yeah. Then they paying taxes on away games, they paying taxes yeah. where they play for those that day, that two days actually, because you know, you fly in early, so that counts as a work day. So you paying taxes on away games, you pay taxes where you stay in that away game. And then also you gotta remember you gotta pay taxes wherever your your main residence is, like off season. Yeah. So you paying all that. And all, and then you paying one rent, two rent. You're gonna be paying two rents because you're gonna have a place at home. So those are the things people don't take into consideration when they say, "Damn, how can he? How can he go bankrupt? Or how can he lose that money? Or oh, that's easy. 
were easy because I'm paying two rents. I'm helping my mom do this. Or I'm helping my dad do this. You, you know what I'm saying? You got all these things that come up and things going to happen. You're going to have to drop money on something that you didn't plan or expect to drop, but it happened. That's life. So, like I said, when you go with all that and it's only for 16 weeks, come on. Yeah. I remember when you went out to Cali, when the, when you got picked up by the Niners, I was like, yo, my man is going to be dying. Yeah, I remember he was like, yo, bro, it's an Uber's like $50 to get to the compound. Yeah. And one thing, that's why I'm so glad that my, this, my home is Texas. So at least I wasn't getting hit three times, you know what I'm saying, or two times, whatever the case may be. Yeah, yo, I remember when you was out there and you was like, yo, man, they, these taxes, uh-uh. Crazy. Crazy. It was like it's expensive to live here. They're like, yo, because you, I remember you said you were standing at one spot and um, you said it was just mad expensive. You was like, yo, like everything out here is expensive. Like you couldn't do any of the stuff you wanted to do because you were spending all your money doing everything else. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, it was, it was expensive, bro. <laughs> and, and that's the thing. You can't escape from spending that money. You have to. What you going to do? You going to not spend it, not what, stay in the locker room? No, you got to have a place to stay. This ain't college no more. You ain't, I mean, every once in a while you may find a buddy on the team or somebody who got an extra room, but most people, we grown-ass men. You know what I'm saying? People ain't really just trying to have roommates. People will look out like, yeah, bro, you can stay with me until you find your apartment or whatever. But then you got to think about, okay, when did I get here? Is it the beginning of the season, middle of the season, end of the season? Do it make sense for me to get furniture or try to rent furniture? You know what I'm saying? So you got – and that's where I got hit because when I went to San Fran, I went week six. So it's yeah. like I don't want to ship all my stuff. Well, she actually lucky. I didn't get furniture. I didn't buy furniture. I got a spot in Philly that came with furniture. So I was yeah. cool on that. But I still have to decide uh we'll have to decide if I want to send all my stuff still. Like do I send myself from Philly to to San Jose or do I send just what I need and then the rest of it I send it to send it to Dallas. So it's like all those type of things that we got to think about as players. Like, do I ship my car? No, nah, okay, I get an Uber, I get a rental until I have to leave to the end of the season. Like, it's a lot of stuff you got to think about. And everything you think about, it deals with money. You're spending, spending, spending. So you can't avoid the spending aspect of it. And then, let alone, I'm not even talking about the money that I spend on my body, like, to keep my body, to yeah. be able to perform at this top notch, like, you know me, bro. I, I fly back to Philly every other month just to see an acupuncture doctor. Yeah. You Yo, know what I'm saying? He, he not lying, bro. Like, he he comes out to, to make sure he's he's straight. Like, at this level, all right, guys, so let's we're going to try to break this down the way you guys can understand. So, you know, me, Dan, Noah, Tom, Tyler, Matt, um, Ty, Paul, Mark, all of us, we're professional drop shippers, right? So we stay at the top of our craft all the time. Like we're constantly learning new things. We're checking out new software. We're checking out new methods. We're doing all this stuff to make sure that we make money, right? That's ultimately, that's what it's for. It's not because, you know, we just like doing it. It's because we want to make money. So you have to stay at the top of your game. And the way, like, we're not professional athletes. We're professional e-commerce players, all right? That's what we do. That's what we're good at. At his level, he's doing the same thing. So you guys need to understand that if you want to be elite and you want to make money, you want to make thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a month. You need to do what elite people do. You need to look at us and be like, all right, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Jeez, spending money. Money. I want to spend that money. <laughs> spending money. That's what they do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're, we're spending a lot of money. Oh, and it ain't necessarily gotta be money like oh I'm just finna drop these bands, but oh, I'm spending a little bit on this for because of the end result I want to do this. Like it just it's it's really how you space your bread out, how you decide to spend your money. Like be smart with your money, man. You you're hearing it from a professional athlete that made way more money than the average person. Like so. You know, you see all these these cats talking about their retail arbitrage dropshipping stores, right? They're like, yo, man, I'm I'm doing 30, 40 K a month, right? But their profit margins are anywhere from maybe five to seven percent. Like this right here, Jacory is the real deal. That dude, so these cats talking about they making 450, like this is the real dude making real money. And he's over here telling you, you need to be smart with it, you need to space it out, you need to do other things than just take money and blow it. You know, because you never know what could happen. Like, I remember when he ended up having to leave Philly, like, 
you know, he was hitting me up like, yo, so what do I do with my car? I'm like, all right, well, I can take it. I can put it at this shop. We can do this, like whatever, whatever we need to do to make it work. You know, like things like that happen, guys. And it can happen to anyone. I mean, it happened to a professional athlete. Like it could happen to us the same way. You guys are seeing it with eBay right now. People are jumping ship on eBay because eBay changed the rules. And I know you guys are like, oh, I'm making a ton of money on eBay, blah, blah, blah. It's not always going to be the case. OK, we know for a fact eBay changed their terms of service. They have hit people with their promoted listings. You're not getting the impressions you used to. You're not making the money that you used to. OK, you got to be smart, guys. You guys got to see the writing on the wall. And when something happens, you got to be prepared for it. You know, Ja'Cory just happens to be a professional athlete. You know, he's a, he's the same as everyone else. He's just better than us when it comes to playing sports. That's it. And he has a bigger platform. You guys should take that into consideration and, you know, try to make that happen for yourselves because, yo, know, he's living proof. Anything can happen. Like one day we over here kicking it in Philly and the next he's sending me a text like, yo, man, Cali's expensive. Man. You know, I mean, he, yo, so how was Cat, bro? Like we never really got to talk about it. I'm pretty sure y'all want to know. So how was, how was Cat? Uh, he was cool, bro. He was, he was Cap. He was what you seen on TV. That was him. Like every day. I remember <laughs> his first words to me, like, <laughs> was, what's up, my brother? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> like, yo, what's up? Hey, Cody, he for real? And that's why I was like, oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> so, like the next day, he said it again. So I was like, okay, okay, this is that's him. And I mean, he walked around like that. He asked, you know, not to say it anywhere really like that around him and stuff. So I mean, I felt like, hey, yeah. hey, hey, man, hey, go ahead, do what you, whatever your heart desire. And you know, he he obviously it went well for him, and he went around went about it the right way. Yeah, in my man. opinion. Yo, it went real well for him. My man, yo, he won. So it is yeah, like all oh, he settled. I'm like, nah, that's 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 winning right there. I'm like, you, you won up against the NFL, bro. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, for it to go this long, that's a win already. Like anybody who didn't think he, that that was they was gonna settle that or he was gonna get some is a fool. Cause if that was the case, if he wasn't gonna get no, it wasn't gonna settle the NFL, that would have been thrown out quick. It yep. wouldn't have went this long. They was why it went this long is because they was negotiating on how much he was gonna get. Don't nobody. I don't know how much he got. Uh, have you seen some? How much he got? So I know he got way more than me. Yeah, exactly. Don't nobody know no numbers. And I, uh, me, that's why I feel like don't nobody know because. <laughs> yeah, because they they some big numbers. Yeah, they had. Yeah, they had to break them off. That's what I feel. Yeah, I mean that's that's hush money. That's go away forever money. Like, look, bro, we'll give you eighty million dollars if you just disappear. Yeah, I know that. Yo, I, it is what it is, man. You know, like, so yo, break down. What is it? What is it like? You know, moving from place to place, and you know, being uncertain from one week to the next. Because in our field, you know, with this whole e-commerce thing, nothing is for certain. Like one day, you know, we might make fifteen hundred dollars. The next day, we might make five. You know, so for us, it's always trying to to go with the ebb and flows, and you know, check the market and stuff. So, what what is it like for you at your level? You know, where that level of uncertainty means like you're not making money, you're not feeding your family. Yeah. Well, it's it's kind of like you just said, y'all going with the getting with the lows, going with the highs. And that's the same thing. You can't get you can't get too low when things don't go your way, and you can't get too high when things do go your way. You kind of just gotta stay level headed, you know, celebrate a little bit, be down a little bit, back to leveling off. And once you start to worry about the stuff that you can't control that's when you start to mess up the biggest thing is control is in your control so what's in my control how i carry myself around a facility am i on time am i early am i getting extra work am i focusing on the details you know what i'm saying am i really asking questions or i'm just asking questions just to make it feel like i'm asking questions like those type of things like do i know the scheme am i asking the co uh, coach questions about the scheme like it's those little things right there what kind of, you know, get you a notch ahead? Yeah, cool. So what? So how did the endorsements work for your side? So for us, you know, we have people reach out to us, like AMZ Scout, you know, because they we we do a lot of stuff with them and their software, um, payability, 
you know, so all these different companies have contacted us and like, yo, would you, you know, would you partner with this? Would you do this? Would you do that? Like, is it something similar where, you know, you're a new, you know, new rookie in a league and they come up and they're like, yo, you knew, like, let's do something. Yeah. Together. When you got that, that deal with, uh, what was it, Infinity when you was out here? I mean, you, you trended. So with, with me being a professional athlete, and and having people who look at me like oh like you know what I'm saying you know how kids look up to professional athletes and yep. there's there's people adults who look up to us like that too so having that basically like target being my own walking brand that's what they look at you remember how I was saying when you asked about if I could go back what I would have did more taking advantage of yep. my name my NFL brand that's what I would have did because now. They giving me, you know, money in for merch or money, whether a check or cash, to wear their gear or make a post once a week or twice a month type thing. And that's how that stuff works. So it's all about if you take advantage of the opportunity that you have with your platform, like you, like you were saying. You know, so y'all hear that, right? Yo, he's telling this man's a professional athlete. He's telling you, take advantage of the platform that you guys have. I mean, we tell you all the time, but you guys obviously don't want to listen to us because we're not professional athletes. So maybe you listen to Jacory. You know, we're not cool enough. But for real, like you guys need to take advantage of all the opportunities. And I'm not just saying that, you know, so you guys can learn from us. You don't have to get mentored by us. You don't have to do any of that. We put out tons of free content, you know, like it, it's I guess it's difficult to piece it all together or whatnot. But guys, like at least try, like do something more than just sit around and talk about, you know, being somebody or talk about, you know, I'm going to make money someday. Like, why not make money today? Yeah, hey, hey, that's what it is right there, bro. And 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 what you saying, I keep saying what you saying, like he is saying in this instance, because I'm talking to whoever's watching. He not telling you to be like me or. I'm not telling you how to drop ship or you know e-commerce, whatever y'all do, because that's that ain't my lane. That's that's not my profession. I'm learning by listening to listening to you and in, in y'all conversations. That's how I'm learning about what y'all do. So only thing I'm trying to do is just share my story with how football is my dominant source, my main source of income, my dream ultimately but how I have to use that platform to take advantage of other opportunities that I can get. And that's the same thing with like you, like he is explaining with the drop shipping, like not just sticking to that or oh, I'm just going to focus on woo, woo, woo because just like I can get hurt at any point in time, like I did. And I go from being a starter to now I'm a free agent. It can be the same thing. Like a system can shut down and now you ain't got nothing, but, if you have a fallback plan, whether that's some real estate or whatever, at least you have something that you can do. Yeah. And, and yo, Ja'Cory is right, man. Like, you know, when he was out here in Philly, just, you know, getting to talk to him and see how he was handling himself and what he was doing and all these different things. I'm like, yo, like maybe I should continue doing all this side stuff, like having the shop, having all this other stuff. That's real important. You know, guys, like it's it's tedious. All right. It's tedious. It's time consuming. And it, nothing worth having comes easy, you know, nothing like he didn't get to be a professional athlete by just being good. You got to be great. You got to sacrifice a lot. You know, you got to sacrifice everything to make it to that level. And I know you see us and, and you're looking at me and Dan and all the other guys, you know, Tyler and Noah and, and Matt and, and all those cats. And they're like, oh, man, you want to be like that. I, I want to make that happen. Guys, we have sacrificed a lot a ton to get here you know like it's not like we woke up one day and we're like yo we can make money online like that it's a ton of trial and error it's a ton of putting in hours and hours and hours worth of work you know you guys don't see all the the work that goes into it you know you guys don't see all the work that jacory puts in on the back end like i've mm -hmm. seen it. my man hustles hard you know and that's why he's at the level where he's at and that's why we're at the level where we're at and that's why the other guys are at the level where they're at because they put in that work. If you guys aren't willing to put in the work, it, you're not going to get there. You know, you'll never, you'll never be king of the pile. You'll always be sitting there 
talking about what if, you know, and that's that's just the truth. You know, I mean, I can't say it any more clear than that. You know, you don't have to be a drop shipper. You don't have to be a professional athlete. You guys could literally be like, y'all just want to do affiliate marketing. If you want to do affiliate marketing, yo, uh -huh. go for it. If you want to do multi-level marketing, go for it. I mean, it's a straight up scam. I can tell you that right now. Anybody that comes to me and they're, they're talking more about the opportunity of signing people up than the actual product, that's a straight up scam. Hmm. That's how they get suckers every day because it's like, oh, all I got to do is get people to sign up and I can make money. That's not the way the world works. You know, the world works with hard work. The reason why, you know, Chip Kelly brought my mans out there to San, to San Fran when things went down here is not because, you know, of some magical, you know, theory or scheme. It's because he worked hard. You know, you know, Ja'Cory worked hard. You know, he works harder than anybody else I know. So if you guys are trying to make money, you guys need to work hard. Work hard at everything that you do. Everything. I don't care what it is. You got to try. I mean, you ain't gonna be out there, you know, catching balls and all that, but <laughs> I mean, like, you can do something. Like you said, you just gotta try, bro. You just give it your all, no matter what, no matter the outcome. Can't worry about the outcome, can't think about the outcome, because it's gonna happen regardless. You're gonna succeed or fail on your hard, hard work. It is what it is. I mean, that's just it. Yo, what's oh man, yo, you working on your private label listing right now? Do it. Make that thing happen. Make it work because, yo, you can sit here and, and not do it and not make any money. I'm going to go to bed tonight and make money. I don't know about y'all. I mean, yo, Ja'Cory going to make money. He's going to have people signing up to hang out with him. I'll put, you know, all the links for, you know, like his Facebook and his Instagram and stuff like that. I'll put that in the description so y'all could check him out, man. Yo, Ja'Cory is one of the coolest people you, you'll ever meet, you know. And despite what you guys think, like professional athletes – aren't you know crazy like it's the same thing as you guys seeing youtubers all day right mm. they're they're not all, all bad like we hang out with other youtubers all the time i talk to paul i talk to matt i talk to tyler like yo, i get to talk to jacory like they're normal people they they just do things differently than you guys if you do what they do you can be in a position to to be where they're at but a lot of people just aren't willing to put in that wrench time it is that work that grind that constant grind and then just that mental side of it that mental toughness a lot of people just not mentally tough enough to go to that the stressful side which some people feel is unnecessary but that's what make you a part of that that three <laughs> percent exactly you know that's that's why you was out there playing ball that's why you was out there with c ball get ball sure. you're getting paid you know so guys man you'll make sure Y'all link up with Ja'Cory, man. If y'all have anything, anything as far as like football skills, coaching, stuff like that, you'll hit him up because he's the, he's the man to talk to, you know? I mean, as you guys can tell, he's a chill dude. You know, he, he doesn't have this big ego like he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, he, he talked to you like a real person. If you messing up, you messing up. Yeah, if you if you good, you good. If you if you sorry, you sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm very tell the people that, bro. <laughs> you too. Yo, Kev, yeah, man. Like, uh, we'll be we'll be helping him. You know, I'm gonna put him in contact with um with my friend uh, Anthony. You know, Anthony Groper. Yo, guys, if y'all don't know Anthony Groper, check him out. You know, he does a bunch of social media stuff. He's the Instagram king. He'll help you grow your Instagram account. So help you monetize them. Definitely check him out. So I'm gonna put Jacory in contact with my with my man's Anthony. Yo, know, we can get him started, get that Instagram going. You know, me and Dan will be helping him with you know with his merch stuff. So whenever things come up, like you know, we can help him set up the print on demand store. I know you guys had asked a little bit earlier. Printful is probably the way to go. So you guys will build out a Shopify store. Probably use Printful for your order fulfillments, and there you go. Done and done. Real simple. We like Printful because that's, you know, it's cheap and that's what we use to give you guys the t-shirts when you sign up for the course and all that. We send them right on out. You know, it's like clockwork. You know, we don't have to worry about it. Obviously, we don't make any money on them because we give them to you out of our own pocket. So it is what it is. But guys, like this is what life is about. You know, network with people. You don't have to just sit in the e-commerce space. Like, yeah, we're friends with a lot of the people in the e-commerce space, but most the majority of my friends are not in the e-commerce space. You know, they're normal, you know, normal people. Jacory just happens to be 
you know, one of the cool ones. He just happens to be a, a professional I'm athlete. I'm still normal, bro. I'm still normal. Hey, y'all seem cool to me talking about this e-commerce because I'll be still <laughs> I'll be sitting there. I'm trying to – that's what I want to pick up on, man. I'm trying to get that aspect of the game, man. So, I'm listening. Bro, you, I, I got you, man. Yo, I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk offline. I got you, bro. Like, it, it's real easy, man. I got you all day long. And now that you got your, your platform growing, so I'll put you in contact with everybody that you need. It's, it's literally printing money, bro. Like, yeah, I, I, like, I, yeah, I need that. I need that. But, but they, tell you, they say you need to have seven different type of incomes, right? So, hey, I need that. Yeah, I'm gonna send Jay down there so that way you can pick on him, man. So, yo, yeah. guys, yo, check him out. The skills camp, I'm gonna send Jay down there over the summer, man. You, hey, look, so that's the way I want to be different is I want to travel with my skills camp because I do have the resources. Like I said, I come to Philly all the time, too. So, yeah, yeah you yeah. still be. After I get it going in here in Texas, like where I stay, then that's when I'm gonna venture out and like I'm gonna hit down there for like, hey, I'm gonna have a chef up camp, speed and jelly camp for a week, boom, boom, advertise flyers, whatever the case may be. So that's that's what I want to do once I get things up and going here first. Like I say, showing my community love, then I'm gonna spread the spread the love out. I want to hit, I'm gonna hit Philly for sure. Cause that was well, my you first know you got to come to Philly, bro. You got to come to Philly. I got to get that all right before you show up. First little, oh, ah, no, nah, you don't have it by then. I'll be out there sooner than you think, bro. <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, man. Yeah, everybody knows I'm gonna get my GTR this year, though. They, everyone keeps keeps jumping on it. They're like, oh man, you, you ain't gonna get that. So Dan will let me get the GTR. So he already got one. I got to go get mine now. So I'll probably get the GTR. I ain't gonna have the R8 this year. Yeah, maybe maybe next year. Maybe you next year. That, man, you don't need that, man. I needs it. No, I don't. needs it. No, nope. nah, I'm, I'm gonna get my GTR, guys. Like every, you guys already know. I've already told you I'm about a GTR. Everyone kept asking what kind of car I was gonna get after you know having the Evo and the RS and stuff. I'm getting a GTR. You know, it, it is what it is. And you know that. You, come on, you guys know. All right, I ain't got Fletcher Cox money. I kind of wish you know my baby moms wasn't. You know, <laughs> rough I mean, I, I mean, he could have been a cool stepdaddy. I would have broken off a little bit of the money check. <laughs> I could have had my R8. But nah, man, you know, so you guys have to make your own way, man. You guys have to work hard. You got to grind, you know, and, and just make it just make it happen, bro. That's that's what it's all about. You know, that's why I brought Jacory on. So, you know, he could leverage his platform and kind of show you guys that there's so much more to life. You know, like you're going to you're going to encounter people and we're guilty of this. You know, we're we're guilty of bragging on our students like you guys see all the results you see people making 10 15 20 30 thousand dollars you know within the first 30 days right so you Ooh, guys see what you, do. Money. you guys are like dang yo your students are making bank y'all making money yo these students are getting rich and it's not as simple as that the reason the students do so well is because they have professionals teaching them right you know so it's 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 different man it's not it's not as easy as, as it seems, you know, there's a lot of hard work that goes into it and, you know, don't fall for a lot of these opportunities. Cause I know you guys check out a ton of other YouTubers, you know, they're like, Oh, they, bro, you can do this. Look at all these big numbers. You guys need to do your homework. We show you guys straight up like the profit that y'all make, you know, we, we put in that effort. We're here to help you guys. We're here to coach you guys. We're here to make sure that y'all make that money. You know, no funny business like we were successful before that. So you, when you guys are looking at some of the other YouTubers and they're like, oh, we're making so much money. I'm like, bro, why are you staying in like a one bedroom apartment or or why are you still driving like a Honda Civic or whatever? And it's not because like, oh, I like Honda Civics like, bro, like I've had nice cars for years. You know, we've had nice cars. We've had the houses. We've had all this stuff for years, bro. Jacory knows like I had the Evo. You know, yeah. when I was with Corey, bro, it's not like I just woke up one day and was like, okay, I'm drop shipping and I'm going to buy an Evo. Like, yo, Jay, yo, Jay knows, you know, uh, JJ right there. He, yo, he's in Philly, man. Like me and him, we've been friends for a while. Like cats that know us know that we're legit people. And that's what you guys need to find. Find legit people that are going to help you. Don't find people that it's going to scam you. Oh, snap. Uh, Louie wants to know, yo, of course, so you, would you let your son play football if you had a son? I'm let my son do whatever you want to do. Now, am I going to voice my opinion on if I want him to play? Of course I am. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I want him to play, but at the same time, do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So if if he want to golf or if he want to 
Shit, even do gymnastics or something, bro. Okay, I'm, man. I'm cool with it. Yo, you can't do golf. Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Hey, um, NFL or them collision sports, it ain't no good on your body or your brain. Yeah. So yeah, you yo, you're right. You're right. And if you can make uh a few hundred thousand by hitting a little ball, hey, why not do it? Whether it's a golf ball or or a baseball, go do it. Yeah, do whatever you gotta do, man. You know, it it it's work, bro. Like it's work like any anything else. And and that's you know, hopefully you guys can can take that away and hopefully you guys learn and, and use that. And not think that it's just quick money because there's tons of cats out there talking quick money. Tons of cats, you know, they be like, oh, you know, you can make six hundred dollars next month or seven hundred dollars next month. And you can do this and this. But you guys don't have to sign people up. You just have to do this. And you can also do nah, bro. Like, that's not the way business works. That's not the way entrepreneurship works. You know, we've been making money for a long time online. I've seen all of it come and go. All right. Things like wake up now. They're nowhere to be found. The Herbalife stuff, yo, they're getting hit right and left. Like, there is, if you're signing people up to sell an opportunity, it's more than likely a scam. You know, there's no substitute for hard work. The reason why Jacory is successful is because he worked hard. The reason why we're successful is because we work hard. Matt, Tyler, you know, all of it. That's why we're, that's why we make the money we make. That's why we're successful because we put in that time. Now, whether you want to listen to us or not is irrelevant because at the end of the day, we still gonna make money. I'm still going to go out there in my garage. I'm going to jump in my RS. I'm going to go pick the bills up for my Evo tomorrow and get them powder coated a crazy color. I'm still going to be hanging with Ja'Cory. He's still going to have a nice car. He's still going to have been a professional athlete. And y'all the only ones that's going to be sitting there hating, talking about, I'm going to make money one day. All right. Well, you ain't making money today. So but what you doing? Yeah. Might as well not wait. So, I mean, hey, whatever. But yeah, I man. Mean, guys, we're gonna shut this down. Let Jacory get back to his daughter, his family. You know, I got dad stuff to do, you know. But Jacory, bro, it's always good having you on, man. man. I appreciate you having me, man. And I appreciate those uh those that was tuned in and had questions for me and just kind of get to hear athletes' point of view, a real point of view. Cause you know me, I'm just, I'm gonna keep it real. I ain't gonna say the politically <laughs> correct stuff if I don't have to. And and I know this one yeah, place yeah, where, yeah, I, where I be myself. So yeah, man, y'all definitely you talking some good stuff on here. So y'all need to tune in and listen to that guy right there. Yeah, make sure I'm gonna put all his links up in the description, bro. So in a little bit, the links gonna be up in there. Make sure you check my man's Instagram out. Make sure yeah. you follow him. yo share that crap. Make sure you on on the ball with him, cause bro, like. He's a legit dude. You guys are going to wish that you had been part of it. I mean, he's coming out. He's going to be doing skill camps out here. Like, he's still coming out to Philly, guys. Like, he, he's a, a, an approachable person. Now, I don't know if he's going to bring that R8 out because I'm going to dust him. I'm going to dust that R8 all over the place. But <laughs> hey, see, hey, see, that's, that's where um it go back to play about me having a little benefits. I ain't got to bring it out. I'm just going to hit up the McLaren shop out there. And, and, uh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why, never why, burn why, no why, bridges. Why. Never burn no bridges. Uh, yeah, I ain't, I ain't cool with the McLaren shop. Our boy Troy's cool with him. Troy Sowers. Yeah, he 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 cool with McLaren like that. So I might have to hit him up. But like, yo, my man, <laughs> I, mean, I need y'all to. I need you to do a favor for me. I need to get up there. A little quick one. Hey, now nah, for real though, y'all definitely follow me on IG because I'm new to social media. I'm trying to spread what I want to do. That's Chef underscore up, and that's. IG and Facebook. I don't really use Facebook, but I use IG. And like I said, I got a, little, a lot of things that I'm trying to work on. And and the fact of, like I said, I'm going to be traveling. If you do have kids or have um, any siblings or nephews, nieces, cousins that play any sport and just looking to get better, stay tuned because I will be coming. I will yeah. be coming. Yeah, you know, I'm going to have Jay out there, man. That's all he's been talking about. He's like, yeah, when's your Corey coming back? I was like, he come back all the time. Yeah, I was like, you be too busy. Hey, I'm going to I'm gonna have to hit you next time I'm back, bro. I'll probably, um, I probably, may probably come back, come out there next month, matter of fact. So I'll just, I'll keep you tuned in. Cool. I mean, if that's the case, yo, we got a mastermind going down. Yo, so you guys know we have a mastermind going down in LA towards the end of the summer. So, yo, my man, you come out, just come out to the mastermind. Yo, we host it for the students. They come out, you know, we, we do in-person, you know, teaching everything. 
Yeah, yeah, man. Check it out, man. Yeah, we yo, we're gonna be out there, man. We'll probably stop in Texas, you know. We'll probably hit Texas up, you know, do one out there. Yo, uh Chef. So yo, it's it's Shep underscore up, right? Yeah, let's check yep. the in. Yeah, it's, it's Shep underscore up. Let's check the IG right now. I'm gonna put it in there, guys. Like it's Shep up. Let me put this in the chat right here. It's Shep up on IG. Yeah, Shep underscore up. Yo, check my man out. Follow him on the IGs. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to post, man. I got a, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of videos, a lot of stuff that I got just in my library. Like I said, I just posting ain't never been my thing, never been something I want to get into. But like we've been preaching, man, you got to get outside your box. So I'm about to get outside my box. And, like I say, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna put you on to Anthony. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, hook it, you know, hook you up. I'm gonna make sure Anthony, you know, get you going. You know, yeah, yo, that's the that's his Facebook too. But yo, Jacquard, I got you, bro. I'm gonna hook you up with everything. Yo, we'll get you know some of your e-commerce stuff set up, cause bro, like you have a big enough platform. Like it, it's literally just printing money at that point. Yeah. You know, so you could do some of the stuff that we do, like you know, with our students, and we just kind of do you know giveaways and stuff like that. And you know, so the, I mean, everybody know all the students know, man. We giving we give we give away all of our money, like straight up. Like <laughs> we don't make no money on the course. Like by the time we get done breaking everything down and like sitting money aside for if they win student of the month or whatever, me and Dan only make like 120 bucks a piece and cats be like, Oh, y'all make all y'all money off that. I'm like, bro, we, we make all of our money with our day jobs and, and Amazon. Like, yeah. <laughs> y'all. like if we really wanted to make money, we wouldn't give y'all nothing. We wouldn't give you guys free Chrome yeah. shirts, nothing. You know, so it is what it is. But, yo, thank you guys for checking out, man. Yo, we really appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you follow my man. If y'all don't, y'all wrong. And y'all going to hate yourselves because y'all won't have none of the good stuff when you, when you start blowing up on, on social media. So y'all going to be sitting there looking, hating. I'm going boom. Trust. Give it some time, bro. Yo, I, I got you, man. I'm gonna make sure that um that I put you in contact with Anthony. I'm actually gonna hit him up and be like, yo, I need you to hook my man's up on, on IG, you know, because he can you know he can run accounts for you and stuff. So like we we'll we'll get that settled. I'm gonna see what, you know, what he can do for you. I already appreciate that. Always, man, yo, you know you was out there dunking on Jay, so I gotta do something. <laughs> yo, man, this is crazy. But anyway, guys, yo, I'm gonna let my man's go. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to edit the descriptions in the video so that way, you know, everyone can, can check them out. Yeah, appreciate you guys being here. Y'all say thank you to Ja'Cory because he could be out doing whatever else he want to do right now. But instead, he's talking to y'all. You know, he's doing grown-up stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nice. All right, man. So, so y'all be safe, man. Me and Ja'Cory going to peace out. We're going to catch y'all in the next one. Yo, don't, don't do nothing stupid, y'all. All right? Don't do nothing stupid.